Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Friday, September 13th, 2019. It's 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry for today. Um, I'm actually doing pretty well today. I feel a lot better than I have in a long time. I don't feel as nervous. I don't feel as paranoid. I'm not hallucinating all that much, although to some extent that's always with me. I have a tendency to hear voices. Um, but I saw my psychiatrist yesterday and we adjusted my medications because I have something called akathisia. That's when you take an antipsychotic medication um, like Haldol, Thorazine, or Seroquel and you feel like you have the physical need to stay moving. It's similar to anxiety and feeling, but it's a form of restlessness where you just can't sit still and you need to keep moving physically and it makes it very difficult for example, to lie down and sleep when you got this constant urge to just keep moving it. Otherwise, you won't feel comfortable unless you're pacing back and forth or walking around. Um, that's not so bad today, but um, that has been a problem for me. It's one of the things that keeps me from getting good sleep. It causes insomnia if I can't sit still. Um, so my psychiatrist prescribed um, Neurotin, also known as Gabapentin. To help me with the anxiety and the akathisia, the, the feeling to need to physically move around um, and not be able to sit still. Um, I'm still on Haldol. That's the drug that's causing the akathisia. Um, but we eliminated the PRNs for Haldol. Haldol PRN simply means pills that I could take as needed. If I was feeling extra paranoid or hearing voices more often than usual or feeling anxiety more often and more severe than usual, I had the option of taking a Heldol pill um, to deal with those things extra, um, and I'd take a Heldol shot every month. So when I went to the psychiatric emergency room last weekend, they told me to stop taking the Heldol PRN, the pills, because if it is Heldol causing my akathisia, it makes no sense to keep taking it. Um, but I still have Heldol in my system because I'm given a shot every month in the muscle of my right or left arm, and that medication lasts an entire month, about 28 days after injection, and it goes through your body very slowly, and so it sustains a constant level of Haldol or any medication that you do it that way. Not all antipsychotics can be injected that way. I take 1,000 milligrams of Seroquel every night, and that's only available in pill form. Um, but uh, the whole purpose for having the shot is if for some reason I deliberately or accidentally forgot to take my medications on any given number of days. Um, I always have the Haldol shot as a backup to keep me emotionally and physically steady as possible with less psychotic symptoms and less anxiety and less nervousness and less paranoia and hallucinations. Um, but we stopped the Haldol pills and the last time I was in the hospital inpatient, it was about two weeks ago, I got a Hellwell shot, and then my next Hellwell shot is scheduled, I believe, for um, September 30th, 2019, which is just a little bit more than two weeks from now. Um, but overall, I'm doing well. I don't feel particularly bad in any way, and, um, and that's good because I haven't felt good in a very, very long time, and I've been uh, dealing with insomnia and the restlessness for a very long time. Um, but I'm doing all right today, and that's the way I try to live from day to day, not worrying as much about the future or the past. I mean, there are some things you have to plan for the future, like paying your rent, buying food, um, keeping your job, keeping up with your responsibilities. Um, but there is a point where you think about things too much and worry too much, and worry and anxiety don't necessarily solve a problem. Um, it depends on the situation. Anxiety can alert you to a problem that doesn't need to be solved, but it could also be in the form of worry and anxiety that serves absolutely no purpose. Um, but uh, if anybody has any comments, suggestions, subscribe, share, like. I don't censor comments. And uh, I wanted to address one thing, though, before I signed off today. Somebody on BitChute, because I use YouTube, but I also use BitChute.com for posting my videos, Someone told me I shouldn't be um, posting my videos on BitChute that I was 
not reading my messages and not reading the comments. And therefore, what was the point of posting these videos if I wasn't going to interact with the people that watch them? I guess there's some truth to that, but I'm not going to stop doing my videos on BitChute just because somebody was upset with me. Um, but that's all for now. I'll keep you all informed. Subscribe, like, and share.